Hi everyone, and welcome to our third episode of Spit and Fire. I'm your host, Josh Elin. This show is based off of a popular YouTube series called Hot Ones. I'm here with our guests, Michael Wozniak and Boz Bostrom. Boz is a very accomplished accountant, a past Johnny football player, and a current accounting professor here at St. John's. Waz is a star defensive end that played for the Johnnies and just wrapped up his career, and he's also an accounting and finance major. We welcome you both. Thanks for being on the show. Appreciate you guys being here. Thanks for having us. Thanks, yeah, Josh. Yeah, of I course. I think I'm happy to be yeah. here. Yeah. <laughs> how, how are you guys doing? I'm good. Yeah, I, uh, I did make the mistake of like researching how hot this is going to get. I just kind of went into it blind. For sure. So I didn't have time to sweat it. So Boz did the opposite. Let's we'll see how. Yeah, yeah. I, did, I did some research. And yeah. uh, I'm just, I, I'm interested to see how I stack up against your past right. guests and then guests that have been on the act, you know, the, the hot one show as well. It's like a normal wing one, right? I mean, it's, it's pretty standard, you know. You see a little heat on the back end? Yeah, you there's, feel anything? there's a little like in the back of the throat a little bit. Okay. You got <laughs> mine not, kind of on the tongue. Yeah, you know, like, I feel like we're going to be like, uh, like Bobby Flay or something like yeah you know it's a little tingle on the back of the throat you know kind of <laughs> what is Bobby Flay just from? Yeah, I don't know just like a little you know Food Network kind of <laughs> how do you, do you watch the Food Network absolutely look at look at that <laughs> just it. wait till we get get down here you'll start to get more of that tingle mm -hmm. so to start us off I'm very curious as to why you both chose to come to St. John's was what really made you come to play football here and go to school here and then Boz I'd love to hear kind of why you chose to come here and actually why you chose to come back here to be a professor so uh, Waz if you want to for sure us um off. so my kind of journey with St. John started pretty much after birth uh, my grandfather was on John Gillardi's first team I had aunts and uncles pretty much every decade then I had cousins um, so my whole family is just Got a huge legacy here at St. John's, yeah. St. Ben's. Um, so when I looked at schools, I obviously was very familiar with this one. I mean, mm -hmm. I've been going to games, going to the law, eating Gary's Pizza, Bo Dids ever since I could walk. Um, mm -hmm. So yeah, I, through that whole experience, I was like, I know about this place. And when I started looking at schools, it was always comfortable. And then I came and I toured it as a, like an actual prospective student. Um, mm -hmm. Got to talk to the coaches and, and I could see kind of why uh, all my family had decided to come here because it really is a second home. and I. Now officially done, like, well, gonna be moving mm -hmm. out tomorrow for good. Um, I can definitely say that I don't regret it at all, and uh, everything my family believed is 100% accurate. That's so. awesome. Yeah, I couldn't agree more. How about how about you, Boz? Started coming here in junior high for basketball camps. We had a legendary no basketball coach, Jim Smith, who would run the camps. Uh, uh, Jerry Haugen was one of the assistants yeah. for the camps. This was back in the 80s, <laughs> as an Jerry. example. And, um, and Jerry had already been here for probably like 30 years. <laughs> about 30 years, years by that point. Yeah. 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 So he's yeah, one of the defensive coaches here. But uh, So I really enjoyed the camps, got familiar with the campus, mm -hmm. and then kind of I was a senior at Stillwater High School, and I uh, get recruited by a variety of schools. Okay. And... Um, you know, I, I was kind of tired of football by the end of high school. We were a great football program, but the coaches really beat us into the ground, and that just wasn't as much my style. And uh, so I wasn't even sure if I wanted to play football in college. And I had success mm -hmm. at it, but just wasn't sure if I'd like it. Came up here and met the legendary John Gallardi and learned that they're a lot yeah. more of a humane uh, style up here. And uh, came off of the team and absolutely loved it. And uh, just had a great four years. Went and worked in the big accounting firms for nine years. and. Um, and then in 2004. And then you had to come back. Yeah. I did, you know, I, I loved teaching and I loved mentoring in the mm -hmm. firm. And I was like, what would that be like to do full time on the college level? And I interviewed up here and uh, yeah, I've been back for 19 years now. So Josh, what are we eating now? What is mm -hmm. this second wing? So this one is called Tropicante. And this is actually one of the really good ones, I think. Um, not too hot, but Kicking it up a little bit. Yeah, I'm not really feeling it, like any heat so far. It just a little bit. This one went to not the tongue, but the back of the throat for me. Mm -hmm. A little bit. Not bad. It was fun. It's like sweet, yeah. Yeah, I'm not eating. I'd, I'd pound. How many of these would you pound, Bob, <laughs> yeah, if like, you were hungry? If I was hungry? Yeah. 16? Yeah, yeah, I could probably go 20, yeah. I feel like after 20, wings. After 20 <laughs> it's just kind of like how much, like, do you want to hate yourself the next morning? But yeah. Like, then mm -hmm. it's just pushing through mm -hmm. after 20. Mm -hmm. 20 plus is just. It's really just uh, determination at that point. <laughs> determination. <laughs> Love it. 
All right, so coming here, could you two tell me a little bit about how you two met each other and what that experience was like? Um, yeah, yeah, if you could bring up an old memory or something like that. Yeah, um, well, my first time, I didn't even meet Boz, um, but I came up for a recruiting visit, kind of like one of those big admissions ones, and he was okay. a guest speaker. Didn't even meet him at that point, but- Nothing he, to do with football. Nothing anything. to do with football. I think it was for the honors scholarship. Okay. Um, and he spoke- The elite. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, no, nah, definitely not me. Um, <laughs> so they uh, they um, had like a guest speaker, Boz was that person. And I had heard about him because my brother went here. Yeah. And so I knew like of like Boz, I, I had no idea. Like it was just kind of like a, a figment or like a, a like a, an idea. It wasn't even like a person. It was just like, you should take him in class. <laughs> a mythical person. Yeah, a mythical, mythical. I didn't hear this part. Yeah, a mythical awesome. creature. So then I was like, I want to take it. <laughs> and uh, I decided, well, I reached out to like an, my admissions rep yeah. and I worked it so that my first accounting class would be with Boz because I heard great things. And then I was, it was my first class of freshman year, counting 111, and then that's how we met. Yeah, I never heard that part. You, know, you know, you never. Were you saving this for like all the five I, years? No, I was saving it for this moment. No, <laughs> no, I actually, weirdly, I never brought that up. Yeah, well, because like obviously we met, but I yeah. forgot the reason why we. I had I had mm -hmm. you for my class was because I like requested. I didn't know you requested. Yeah, that's I did. Cool. Yeah. See, well, so what I what are you? What well, are you? my first memory is that so Bill Sexton, who um, it was just a really um, cool. So Bill is. Name is all over campus here. Mm -hmm. He's a legend from um, the mid 1950s. Yes, yeah, still um, still holds the, the single game point scoring record for St. John's. Would yep. hold it for the conference if he had a three point line. But I, I wrote his memoir and I brought him up uh, to to football practice during training camp. Okay. And he spoke to the team afterwards. Uh, Coach Gary Fashion called him up. And uh, Waz, you came up and said hi to Bill afterwards. You remember that? I do. Yeah. Yeah. I uh, he was my grandpa's like best friend really um, no so way. yeah it was a really cool experience I, I had never met Bill before but I went up to him and I was like you know Mr. Sexton my name is Michael Wozniak Leroy Lilly was my grandfather um, and my grandpa had passed away mm -hmm. about a year and a half prior and Bill just started crying no. so then I started crying yeah and then there was just kind of like a at the 50 yard line just an emotional moment um, between the two of us um, and then Ever since then, I, me and him have kind of had a good. Really, he's called me when I want to have different awards or uh, different, you know, big moments in my life. He's given me a call. We've had lunch. We just went down to the cities and had lunch by his uh, his place um, in a restaurant. That and does he own it or just? He's a part owner. He's in a that part one, owner. So. Okay, yeah, of course yeah, he is. He's yeah. a very yep. successful, that's amazing. Very successful guy. Very nice guy. So yeah, that's awesome. Well, then what was neat? So Bill tells me that story about meeting mm -hmm. this this guy, and I kind of forget about it. And then I teach the first accounting class, and then mm -hmm. after class, this guy comes up and he's like. You know, hi, Boz, Michael Wozniak. <laughs> I, I met Bill after practice the other day. And Bill had told me the story, but I'd kind of forgotten mm -hmm. who it was. And Woz introduces himself, and it just started a natural connection that That's kind awesome. of blossomed from there. <laughs> yeah. That's amazing. Yep. And then Bill was the one who actually wrote the check for the scoreboard. So after you'd see Woz make a yep. big play and <laughs> kill yeah. the, the opposing quarterback and show it on the replay on the big scoreboard, yeah. that was partly for, I think Bill just wanted to, to, to see the highlights yeah. of Woz up yeah. close. Yeah. So. Pico Rico? Mm-hmm. It's just good. I mean, I'm in the yeah, mood I, was. Yeah. yeah. Those are fine, yeah. I think we're going to have 20 wings tonight. It's going to be easy. <laughs> what do you think? We'll <laughs> see. It just jinxed <laughs> us. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't think it's a good sign that, like, I mean, we have, like, the tarp down. Like, it's like an episode of Dexter. <laughs> like, after the 10th wing, we're just going to yeah. die. I'm just like, all right, easy to They're just going to roll like us up. There's, like, a splash zone. Yeah, just a splash zone, mm -hmm. just, like, Roll us out of here. You roll us up in the tarp yeah. and throw us. Uh, not, where where do you want to go? Throw you in the sag. Yeah, <laughs> say, that'd be a good way to go out. Yeah, <laughs> we find a hole, drill a hole in the sag, throw you in. All right. So it's no doubt you two are very close, and it sounds like you have help each other out a lot and uh, with various things. Can you two talk about the times that you've gotten together to catch up or maybe? You know, Boz give Waz advice on things, and Boz, you said that you uh, cook up some Philly cheese steaks. Do you have any uh, great memories of doing that together? And yeah, you know, Waz has always been, uh, and well, what's beautiful about it is, you know, this this guy had a tremendous year this year, and just just today, you know, the All American Award comes out. It's like every time I open my social media, it's Waz getting another <laughs> award. So, but. Uh, 
And um, but I knew him just when he was. I referred to him as a little guy. He's always been big, right? But it was a little guy. wasn't a starting football player. Yep. He said he was on the football team. Like it seems like a half of the Johnny's doing my intro coming <laughs> class. So for all I know, he's going to be a bench warmer, right? Mm -hmm. And. Um, but what I loved about him is that he was always so curious and he just always asked so many questions and he was so thoughtful uh, just about the material and about his career. So we would get together. I don't know when that started. Maybe after your sophomore year or something like that, we'd need a meeting. Probably, and, about, probably about right. Yeah. yeah. The meetings went yeah. from yeah, your, your office and then it was like over dinner, um, mm -hmm. you know, like Philly cheesesteaks or, or whatever. And, and yeah. as you mentioned, I mean, I... I ask a lot of questions. I'm curious. Sometimes that's annoying for some people, but Boz was nice enough to actually answer the questions and, and uh, you know, <laughs> listen and kind of be there for me. So I appreciate that, which I know it's not always the easiest thing to yeah. do. And Boz has been an unbelievable resource for me. Yeah. And, uh, and well, support system for football, but resource for professional and academic careers, of course. Yeah. Well, I had uh, you know those the Philly cheesesteaks. It's uh, yeah. It's uh, you would come over and I'd basically just keep making them until yeah. you tapped out. Well, yeah. So it was I like mean, an MMA fight. It, <laughs> it was. Yeah. It was, it was phenomenal. Pretty shocking what you could do. Yeah. Well, you have like I mean I don't know if anybody like fully comprehends this, but like he has like a full menu. Like no one, <laughs> no yeah. Like what's the name of it? The Downtimers yeah. Cafe. He like so like really? the first time you like go over like he literally like sends you a menu <laughs> and you, you like pick some like pick you know a a dessert, uh, an entree, an appetizer. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, so you get the full treat. It's a real deal. I mean, it's it's not just like a you know come over for a, a burger or something. Like it's yeah, a, it's like a full it's experience. The it's the real. It's a full experience. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Doesn't expire when you graduate. Yeah, so yeah. We might have to, might have to you know <laughs> take you up for that. Time, so. When you're not playing, it might be we have to might go for lighter options. Yeah, we make some good salads. <laughs> yeah, so, I was gonna but, say uh, I'm gonna have to start not eighteen Philly <laughs> cheese. Have to start losing some weight here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> This is a beautiful wing. Yeah. This, Gosh, one, this, great, one's, great this one's small. I'm looking at nine. <laughs> nine is monstrous. <laughs> Josh gave me the big one on number four. You've got the you've got bigger wings than I do, especially number four. I can't like, say it's increases. too across the sizes mm. of them, but. Yeah, this is beautifully prepared. It's just gorgeous, brown color. What's the, uh, what do we have in here? Los Calientes. Los Calientes or something. Yeah, the it's hot actually ones really or something good. Like Barbacoa. That. Hmm. So like, I would order this. Mm -hmm. I would absolutely order this. I think they're almost getting better as we go along. I don't know. Why do you, you literally? It's like it's you're, like you're, Gary. It's like setting it up. It's like Gary <laughs> Anderson before. Like he has oh, never oh, missed wow. a field goal <laughs> in all that's season. Just, that's exactly it. When you get to like nine, mm -hmm. it's like yeah, it's still getting better. <laughs> it's just great taste. You know? Down at the Dexter. I'm, man, I think it's gonna be rough. We'll all right. Out. So. You both are, well, Boz, you're an ex Johnny football player, and well, now you are. I hate, <laughs> yeah. I hate to say it, but it's an old guy like I, know the, I know the coaching staff would want to disagree with that, and they want you back, but yeah. that's another conversation. <laughs> that's a long um, conversation. So, can you tell us about a maybe a funny experience you had either at a football game or even after celebrating a, uh, a win at a football game. Just something really funny that comes to mind. It could be with fans, could be with, you know, your friends. Oh, um, wow. Um, <laughs> Do you want me to start? You start. Because related to you. Well, there's a lot. <laughs> so, I mean, so I played in the mid 90s, or the early, early 90s, but yeah. anyway. It was after a playoff game last year, and it's really cold outside. And I don't know if it was the first, if it was the Lake Forest game or the uh, or the Linfield game, whichever one was really cold. But um, Waz makes a big sack, and I'm kind of watching it from the end zone. It was that play where you destroyed. You remember the play? It was, it was probably I think it was probably that Linfield play. It's you destroyed your blocker. You went into the backfield. You stuffed the running back for like a five yard loss. And I'm watching it from the end zone, and I kind of run back around the corner to kind of watch it, then a little bit more from the side, and I run into an alum who might have been over -served. And he's like, Boz, you know, sometimes he starts like hitting me on the chest. And then he smacked me in the face, open hand slap like that. Kind of like where football players hitting each other in yeah. the helmet. You know, you, you see yeah. the guys that do that, except I wasn't wearing a helmet. Yeah. I was like, dude, dude, yeah. time out. So. Oh man. Boz, well, what do you got? <sighs> I'm sure you have tons. Like you know. honestly, like too much to download. Um, <laughs> yeah, I... Um, I'll, I'll go this way. I, the first thing that comes to mind. So like some of the best trips, weirdly enough, like we love home games mm -hmm. in the playoffs. Absolutely. Because the fans are insane and awesome. Um, but uh, mm -hmm. some of the best trips are when we had those away playoff games. 
Um, so one of them. Are you talking about the bus ride back and stuff? Well, I was talking the flights back. Oh, um, oh okay. So we had um, we had a, a trip out to California. Yeah. Where we played Chapman, and we had a snowstorm back home, so our flight got delayed. So we ended up pulling into like a, a strip mall basically in <laughs> LA, and they're like, "All right, go, come back here in like two hours." <laughs> and we we all went to an Applebee's, <laughs> and we had like. 70 Johnnies in this <laughs> Applebee's at uh, in, outside of LA. Um, yeah, nothing like crazy happened. Just it was just a That's hilarious surprising. sight where like the entire entire bar is just Johnnies, <laughs> and then like table, 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 just just in the middle of LA, you know, East LA, yeah. we just got Johnny 70, 80 over. Johnnies taking over. So oh, no. you just come off a of win. So you guys are just coming sky off high. a win, sky yeah, high. Big win. Yeah, yeah, big playoff win. Uh, I think it was like Thanksgiving weekend. It was. And you're in LA, so it's warm out. Yeah, yeah, it was it was a it was a fun memory. There's a lot. Like when you like oh, phrase that course. question, like it's like uh, pose that question. It's there's a lot to download. It's been a lot of years so. for sure. This is fun so far. Yeah, this is good. <laughs> this is gonna get so bad. So we're at five. Don't the water yet, huh? I I've been, no, I'm no. thirsty. Not like for like mm -hmm. heat. I'm just yeah. I mean yeah. It's thirsty. Just nice to have a little water. How's the heat with them so far? Yeah, yeah. It's fine. Yeah. yeah. There's no afterburn either. It's like I feel a little warm nope. to the mouth. Not yeah. much, you know. A, appropriate, kind of a fun one. Yeah. Almost like I want them a little bit hot. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. This, this is a. Part. This is a. All right. So for this next one, I'm gonna use my laptop. So I took pictures from both of your Instagrams, or maybe you were tagged in them, and they're somewhat funny pictures. And I'm gonna need you to give a little bit of context as to the why behind these pictures. So I don't even use Instagram much. I don't know what he found. So. <laughs> well, so I don't use it, but people <laughs> tag me in stuff. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly it. So you're tagged in this photo. Great. So, but first, I let's tap into this friends. next wing. Okay. You get to think about what oh, photo geez. it's gonna be. How about this one, Josh? What do we got? I Something by Jing? Fly by Jing. Not my favorite. Oh, not really a flavor. Not hot. I think if I had to have an order of like a you know a dozen of them or whatever, I'd do the fourth one right now. I don't know yeah, fourth was probably best. Yeah, Josh prepared it beautifully. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Air fryer. I appreciate. It. Yes, yeah. air fryer works wonders. Mm -hmm. All right, so Boz, we'll start with you. Thank God. This picture. <laughs> Why are you laughing? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm gonna I'm gonna <laughs> I have this. It's not too bad. Uh, it's just a little funny, I think. Um, I would like you to explain the why or what's going on in, right here. Oh, here we go. Oh, oh yeah. yeah you, you know, um, I, I really like lifting weights and my son and I just, um, we just got, we're lifting weights and I do a little pose for the camera. Mm -hmm. I think I threw that one out <laughs> on, um, I threw that one out on oh, social media or something like yeah. that. Sun's out, guns out. Yeah, sun's out, guns out and I put it there and someone said, you know, can we go shopping there, Boz? Because we have the heavy bag, we have weights, we have an electric guitar, and we have power tools. And I'm like, what else would anyone need that way? So, but yeah, just that's that's my son. He's currently a junior exercise health science major here. That's awesome. Um, he's uh, he's got you know some of my strength, but then mm. my wife is more lean, so he got kind of the best from both of us that way. That's awesome. Nothing yeah. to be ashamed of there. No, <laughs> it's, it's a, a heck of a good photo. looking picture, man. So. See how Mm -hmm. I don't know much I get screwed on this one. All right, Waz, it's your turn. Here's the picture that I'm wondering what you guys are doing here. <laughs> See, that's a good picture. <laughs> oh, God. Who oh. posted that? I think it was Hilla. Oh, Ethan Hilla. Yeah. So great. you can thank him for yeah, that. Yeah, well, you know what? I don't, for this exact reason, <laughs> I do not post Instagram. I don't use social media. Mm -hmm. Um, well, clearly this, you shouldn't even have one. I so probably should. I should probably delete it, it so I don't get tagged. <laughs> so this would be a photo from uh, a Tamsack party that right. we had. Uh, it was Beer Olympics, and uh, it involved various games, um, and we won. So in our jubilation, we played around in the mud for a little bit, and this was the post mortem. 
photograph after said celebration. <laughs> and that is, we will uh, stop there. We'll During the Olympics, were you wearing shirts? Uh, no, we, no. Didn't, we didn't wear shirts at all. I, yeah. I, there was, that whole spring was just a lot of tarps off energy. Mm -hmm. um, tarps off? Does yeah, that mean shirts off? Tarps off, yeah, tarps off. <laughs> tarps off. <laughs> tarps off, you've never heard that expression? I know, I'm, I'm old. Boss, yeah, so. so tarps <laughs> off energy, and then uh, apparently uh, we also got the, uh, the jorts, the jean shorts uh, came off at some point in the celebration. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> that's, that's a good looking picture. picture. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. All right, here we go. <laughs> Josh says he's going to take off now, Waz. Let's see. Not too bad. Well, I don't care about. The first two bites, I want to know the the after effect, yeah. like if it's gonna linger. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm like now I'm like like <clears throat> nervous just based off of the preparation that like has been done. Like you've been yeah. like preparing, like just just wait for mm -hmm. number seven. Mm -hmm. That's not bad. No, just this one started to pick up a little bit, but then it just didn't go anywhere. So mm -hmm. this this is fine. It's no, good exactly. enough taste. Yeah. Okay, so my next question is music related. Uh, it's a pretty simple question. What is your guilty pleasure song? Uh, maybe something that not many people know about. Something <laughs> could be. I don't. I don't know. Let's. I, let's I, hear. Have, I have an answer. Do you have? An you answer? have a good answer. Um, guilty pleasure. Guilty pleasure. So this isn't so my like walk-up song. Me, I, I can go. I can go first. I actually really like Taylor Swift and Katy Perry songs. Mm -hmm. And not many Who people doesn't? know that. No, I know, but. Um, yeah, so I, yeah. you can. Kind I have of, an answer. You, well, I was hoping you. Were, I was hoping you were gonna ask walk up song. Yeah, and that was gonna be bigger. Sure. Save a horse, ride a cowboy. But if it's <laughs> guilty, guilty pleasure, pleasure, guilty then pleasure I'm probably song. going T Swift. Let, let's just throw it back. I think it was her second hit, uh, "Teardrops on My Guitar." That's Love the amazing. vocals on that one. Great tune, isn't it? <laughs> That's awesome. Right, the Waz is ready. He's, I'm ready. I'm bored. What do you got? I'm going yeah. every time we touch by Cascada. No way. Yeah. <laughs> I, that gets you going. Can you, sit, can you sing it a little no, bit? No, absolutely not. Absolutely. <laughs> I can oh, dance yeah. to it, but no. <laughs> yeah, I know. How's it going? I get this feeling. Yeah, that one? Yeah. <laughs> I don't even know it. It you sounds like you do. Song. Well, I was <laughs> just singing. trying to give you something. Um, no, uh, that one, I mean, it's great for, you know, dancing, even like, like a little pregame. Yeah, at the, the one arm, you know, punch. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah, well, it's the easiest dance move. It's just the. Did you know Waz is a big dancer? Oh, uh, yeah, I've heard. You've I've heard? seen, yes. Mm -hmm. uh, I asked him if he likes dancing late at night, <laughs> and his answer was yes. I, I didn't know if he was going to say yes or not. Yeah. I kind of thought he was the cool guy, kind of like Iceman from Top Gun, no, who was going to sit I by was... the corner of the bar with the shades <laughs> on, and people come to him. I was, yeah. I was blessed with flexibility, and it's just I, it's something that I have to show, <laughs> otherwise it's wasted. So. Well, what, what do you mean flexibility? No. I, uh, yeah, I mean I, I mean, I can do the splits. You, you can. can do the splits? Wow. You've never you've never heard this before? No, no. So wow. Do you want to demonstrate? <sighs> Not particularly. <laughs> the tarp. We're gonna roll <laughs> you into the, the tarp. Dexter tarp. No, no, uh, no, last time I did the splits I I just destroyed the pants. Um, oh trip I actually did hear that. Where where did that happen? It, it, it's happened like five times in my uh, lifetime. No, maybe you stop doing it. But <laughs> I'm just saying. But like, it gets the people going. Do you do them on the dance floor sometimes? Yeah, absolutely. Do you, is it like a jump splits or do you stand I can and do drop a, out? I can do a jump into a splits. Yeah. How? Yeah, I mean, I'm not talking like, you know, Air Jordan into it, yeah. but like I can yeah. do a little <laughs> hop into it. All these facts I'm learning about yeah. you today. Well, that's what this was for, I guess. <laughs> All right, wing seven was. So far, we've been pretty much dominating these. This is awesome. Yeah, it's a pretty good one. What's it called, Josh? Mm, cosmic Disco. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm sorry, is this eight that we got? The bomb. This Evolution? is seven. Cosmic Disco. This is good. Yeah, I'm a fan. This, I, I, this is kind of like appropriate heat. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's lingering on the lips a little bit. It is. You know, it's yeah. got a little bit of an afterburn. Afterburn. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right. So, I'm really curious actually, can you both tell us about a, a hobby you might enjoy or something you love doing that most people might not know? I know actually I heard a little bit about potato farming for you, Boz, um, if you want to touch on that, but. Yeah, we live on 20 acres up here. So I commuted for 12 years. I commuted 80 miles one way 
live on 20 acres up here in certain day. I was just going to come a little bit. I got a little water in the eye. I, I was just sitting there, I'm like, thank God you started dying first. Yeah. 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 And, and um, burn. So then we just, we have a 2,500 square foot garden and a plant somewhere between 300 and 500 potato plants each year. That's and, amazing. And uh, yeah, kind of grow them organically. And then Waz comes over. It was, it was kind of the last meal that you had. My wife took you out into the garden and you had to pick your own potatoes that we turned into the french fries. True story. Is what happened. Yeah. yeah. So How'd they fun. turn out? Fantastic. Amazing. Really yeah. good, yeah. Even if they're bad, you wouldn't say No, I, they were very good. Back. <laughs> they were very good. It was, uh, it was a different experience to like actually, yeah. you know, bring out your own potatoes. <laughs> How about you for, uh, well, how's it going? I'm <laughs> <laughs> fun to watch them. No, I'm yeah. doing all right. I'm doing all right. Um, uh, I would say movies are kind of my big thing. I. Uh, Love going, like I've always loved going to movies, but yeah, um, I know that you actually isn't it like a pre game thing or something? Yeah, well, we used to last year we did, we didn't do it too much this year, okay. but every Friday before a game, we'd go into Parkwood, uh, Marcus Parkwood Theater. Yep, um, and because of the amount of movies I've seen, I just kind of have accumulated like weird trivia knowledge, me and my brother both. Okay, um, so like, oh. just I love watching movies and I know a bunch about it so. I, I mean, this is a little bit of a harder question, but what are your favorite movies that would come to mind? Okay, so usually right. when I answer, I, I say Christopher Nolan is kind of my favorite director. Okay. Um, so Inception, Interstellar. Um, great movies. Great movies. Uh, my dad's favorite, which I grew up, well, not until I reached a certain age, I watched it, but Godfather. Okay. Uh, classic. Tough to, to beat it. Um, Shawshank Redemption. Those are kind of the classic answers. Um, and then I'm a huge nerd when it comes to Marvel Cinematic Universe stuff. Okay. So, um, yeah, any of that. I'm kind of a um, Karate Kid series, which now is Cobra Kai. Yeah. Yep. Shout out to uh, Johnny Lawrence. <laughs> and if you're watching today, Johnny, Billy Zabka. <laughs> if you're watching. It probably is. Um, and then the Rocky series with the crowd, uh, with the Creed spinoff. Yep. So by far, those are my two favorite Good stuff. I love the Rocky series. I, I second you on that. I grew up on that, yeah. along with Star Wars and Indiana Jones. So, mm -hmm. great series. I got my wisdom teeth out senior year of high school, and I made my parents rent all five Rocky movies <laughs> for me because they said you're supposed to take it easy, and I watched all five straight in a row. Yeah, it was crazy. like before the day where you could binge watch stuff. You're not impressed, but back then you actually yeah, had to go yeah. to these movie no, yeah. stores. Well, hey, I, I grew up to Blockbuster. Did I, mean, you? I, yeah. I remotely relate. Mm -hmm. yeah. How are you feeling? Good, good. Yeah, it was a little yeah. afterburn, mm -hmm, yeah. Mm -hmm. oh. We'll see. Kind a little of water in the eyes. Yeah, a little water in the eyes. I feel a little burnt on the teeth, but. All right. Well, here let's let's tap into the bomb. Number eight. The bomb. Ooh, it jumps out at you. <laughs> this is the first one that off the tongue yeah. is starting to get more. And which concerns you because there's mm -hmm. still the afterburn mm -hmm. that will be coming at some point. Yeah. That's yeah. not, I mean, right now it's not bad. This one's gonna get me though, isn't yeah. it? So in a bit. I give you credit for not drinking water. I'm kind of in the like, no need to wear capes. You know, we don't I'm surprised you went for the water. I, I, I'm, not, I'm not trying to impress anything. I'm, I'm gonna go for pleasure and actually not. <laughs> you you know, make, water makes it worse, you know, right? You're just doing it more for the thirst quenching, not the Yeah, heat. a little bit. I mean, now yeah. it's just kind of like it delays the burn, I guess, but. Yeah. Are Very you gonna eat the whole thing, or are you just gonna eat part of it? Well, hey, I'm, I'm just curious. I made—I don't know. This one, I might, <laughs> we might tab out. We'll see. I'm gonna eat the whole thing. I'm just gonna you're, throw you're, that out there. Yeah. I'm just gonna go out there. All right. Mm -hmm. Well, we'll see how you do. <laughs> we'll see how you do <laughs> later on. All right. So, Boz, it's—it's uh, it's very fitting that you're on our show, Spit and Fire, since you are a big wing guy. Um, can you tell us a little bit about the signature wings that you have at Sal's Bar, um, the Boz wings? And then, Waz, I assume I'm not sure if you've had them or not, but. We can hear your thoughts on it too, but Boz, could you tell us how those kind of came about and what they are? The beauty is, is, why do I have to answer the question first? You're, you're happy that I am, so. <laughs> I've, uh, I've, never I've never you had them. You have never had I've never had them. You know, it was about, sure. about seven, eight years ago. It was a Wednesday at Sal's and, and that's wing day. And um, I asked the owner, Dale, I, I said, hey, I should have some wings. What should I have, breaded or buffalo? Because he had a couple options. And he said, I've got this hybrid version. It's kind of breaded and fried and buffalo, you know, uh, tossed in it. I said, yeah, let's do it. I liked them. Went back the next Wednesday. I said, Dale, let's do it again. And then went back another Wednesday later and he was in the back. Okay. So then the person up front, I say, I said, tell him Boz is here and he wants his wings. So tell him he wants the Boz wings Okay. is what it was. And, uh, and then from then, just people started to order the Boz wings. It's a hot 
the name is It's stuck. a hot bar a barbecue is what it is. So and um, so yeah, you go is there. Is it and like you get barbecue buffalo. and buffalo mixed together? Something like that. Yeah. Okay. I prefer just a straight buffalo, but uh, but yeah, that one has got the um, it's got the barbecue in it as well. So it's pretty good. So they're the best selling wings that sells. Awesome. Uh, I'll have to yeah. I'll have to give them a try. So how about you, Waz? You you haven't had them. I've yet. never had them. No, uh, I should have them, especially since I know Boz, but uh, I have not had them yet. Yeah. I think I make them better than them. So when you come over again, <laughs> if you don't want Phillies, we can just do the Boz. Sounds like a plan. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds like a plan. I think I need a little. So, this is this that one. You can have water, water was. Yeah, I'll take some more water. That one helps me. That one must have got you. Oh, that one got me. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I'm. I feel like I'm tearing up a little bit. But so I'm gonna do this, right? I definitely see some tears. Yeah, I, do, oh, I can see man. the tears. Do you not feel it burning in the mouth though? <sighs> yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. There's yeah. some burn there. Definitely. <laughs> Dude, like I'm just no. trying to delay it. Unique garlic? Is it French? I don't know. <laughs> it could be. Unique garlic. <clears throat> I don't that's not that's not that much this worse than the last one. one. Actually I would take this one over the last one. Yeah, eight's like that is that's mm -hmm. brutal. Eight was a step up. I think we're numb right now. I think you hit your ceiling at mm -hmm. number eight. It's yeah. just like oh, they're tasty though. Yeah, thank you. Good. Yeah, Waz is only eating half wings no, there I'm, though, so. I'm, I'm, I'm trailing off. <laughs> Are you really? Wow. All right, I give him credit. <laughs> <laughs> so I want you to tell me more about this story since Boz kind of brought it to my attention. But um, Boz, you once had a new kitchen island delivered to your house and needed help delivering it, or bringing it into your house. And so you called Waz and told him to bring some friends. So. Yeah. Can you tell me a little bit about how you mentioned his his strength was um, just extraordinary in that in that moment, or legendary as you refer to it. Yeah. So what happened is I wrote Bill Sexton's memoir, and to thank and he's from Jasper, Minnesota, and they have a, yeah. a quartz mine in Jasper. And to thank me, he um, he purchased for me a kitchen island that was made out of quartz. And this thing is big kitchen island, and it got delivered to my house. But the guy told me in advance. He said, "But you've got to install it." And I had a brother-in-law who could do that, but then the issue was we had to somehow carry it in. And this thing was probably 800 pounds. And um, so I talked to Waz and I said, can you set that up, you know, bring a few of your buddies over? And he said, sure. So they show up, there's four of them, it's my brother-in-law and me, and then the guy who's delivering it. And it's like, okay, let's try to figure out how to get out of the pickup truck. Waz just jumps into the back of the pickup truck with really no, it's like, we got to get it out. Waz just jumps in. It's all the and Philly cheesesteaks. What's that? Philly cheesesteaks you found. I think so. I think so. And he basically just picks up the half end of it by himself, like 400 pounds. <laughs> and then the, the other five of us, his three buddies and my brother-in-law and me, kind of get on the other end. We carry it in the house that way. So it was just one of the <laughs> I don't greatest remember, things to be seen. I don't remember it being like a Paul Bunny and Tall Tale. Like he does. He's going to be all humble. I, I, I thought it was just kind of another contributing factor, but mm -hmm. apparently in this story, as the years will go on, apparently by the end it will just be just me. I picked the whole thing up. It'll myself. be 10,000 pounds. Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. That way, when you took your class or your glasses mm -hmm. off, yeah, and took, your yeah. cape out. And your yep. Do you remember so jumping in the truck for that one? I yeah. do. I do. I remember I uh, I fell on the sword on that one. Mm -hmm. Jumped in and <laughs> how long ago it. was that? Oh, I felt like it was during COVID. I think it was. Oh, so it might have been the ago. spring of. Um, I don't know if it was. You football was canceled, so it was either that fall or the next spring. I think he was so pent up, and he just wanted to hit someone, and he couldn't hit me one. Probably. No. So he just wanted to pick up this giant piece of quartz. <laughs> Absolutely, I don't know what I'm gonna do now. <laughs> yeah, we can just move the yeah, quartz just, around my just house periodically. So. All right. Well, congrats to you both. We've made it to the last sauce. It's not easy making it this far, and uh, I congratulate you both. Uh, how are you feeling so far? Honestly, I'm okay. I'm finishing nine, eight. Like I just like took a bite. I'm like done. Are you not gonna finish eight? I I might go back after. Like I can finish this eight. Like that was that was something. <laughs> that was something. Yeah. I don't. I mean, eight was definitely the worst, right? How are you feeling? Uh, so far, yeah, eight was definitely it the was worst. Like, that way. that yeah. was a step up. Yep. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, let's um, let's tap into number ten. But first, little tradition like the show. It's based off of hot ones. Here on Spit and Fire, we'll put a little bit extra on the last dab on the on the to the tenth wing. So, um, yeah, if you you guys can join me if you want to. Sounds good. I'm Might gonna as well. 
Yeah, uh, but quick, be careful, it pours quick. I didn't fully understand how this happened, but what Josh does is he tosses these behind the scenes. I do. So I thought it was only going to be like a, a chicken wing with nothing on it except just this little dab. No. Nope. Which kind of seemed not that impressive. So. I toss them. It's a real de deal around mm -hmm. here, so. Yeah. Careful. <laughs> was that too much? No, I mean, it's it's <sighs> it's, it's up to you. It's a true warrior right but, here. But, yeah. hey, I respect it. So. You going to do it, Watts? Cheers. All right. Cheers, Cheers it. To it. Yeah, yeah. Cheers it. Alright. I put a lot of this stuff on. Hmm. Not bad. That's actually a pretty good one. Yeah. I probably drink that for breakfast. Oh, I don't know about that. <laughs> uh. That's good stuff, man. I mean seriously, like eight should be at ten. I think so. Who knows why? I think eight just destroyed the taste buds. I think you just hit your ceiling at that point, so mm -hmm. there's not much worse it can get, but yeah. I guess we'll... I can't believe we made it. Are you going back to eight and finishing it? Yeah. I might have to, but... Just, you realize if you don't... Yeah, I'm gonna lose That for like the next 40 years until I'm you dead. You <laughs> will. After 30 years or something, you're gonna live this down. Exactly. You're gonna be visiting with your kids someday. Your kids <laughs> will be studying accounting finance. Couldn't have those last two bites of the, <laughs> the number eight. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you don't want to have to live that one. No, no, I'll, I'll finish her. All right, mm -hmm. so for this next question, let's start with you, Waz, and then I'll move on over to you. But first of all, yeah, you recently took a trip to Las Vegas uh, for being a finalist for the William V. Campbell Award yep. and uh, for the trophy and had a lot of fun with people down there yep. to support you. Can you tell us a little bit about the fun you had down there and yeah. maybe a little bit about what it was about for people that don't know. Yeah, so I was blessed. I was uh, uh, selected as a finalist for the William B. Campbell Trophy, um, which they phrase as like the academic Heisman is what they call it. And uh, that's pretty amazing. Congrats, by the way. Thank you. Um, so there were 15 of us uh, finalists from across D1, D3, mm -hmm. uh, D2. And uh, we got to go out to Santa Bellagio in Las Vegas. And uh, when you start talking, and then the burn, you don't get... I know, it's tough. I'm happy to put <laughs> you first. It, it really creeps around. Oh, and... it creeps around all edges of the mouth. Um, so, yeah, we went out there. It was super fun. A lot of alumni were uh, kind enough to come and support. Um, so it was myself and my brother, um, the SJU coaching staff, and then a couple uh, very impressive alumni um, also came out. That's awesome. So on top of that, I'm told, Boz, that you actually had an invitation to go, but you turned it down to not go with the, the crew out to out to Vegas. Can you can you tell us a little bit why that might be the case? I, I hear it's a little bit to do with not being allowed at some casinos and, and whatnot. Um, well, I'm an accountant, so I know how to count really well. So let's just say <laughs> on a previous trip out there, they I was I won a lot of money. They accused me of counting cards. So I basically got banned from the consortium of casinos. Out I don't there. know if you can say it, but is it true that you were? Or? Well, they they call me uh, alias Danny Ocean from Ocean's Eleven, is what they wow. say. Wow. Yeah. This so is not a true story. It's not a true story. <laughs> 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 the truth is, I was just kind of busy and uh, couldn't make it out there. Oh. But, uh, yeah. So that's. <laughs> I, got I, I was that's like, this is hilarious. Because I was under the impression that you were counting cards and stuff. Because Novi, that's what that's what he had told me. So uh, yeah, I'm not. Yeah, but did he get you on that one? Yeah, he did. He he did. did. I know. That's I literally was like, that's not. I, I believed it too, because I, mean, I mean, you're a smart guy. You're an accountant. Uh, it, the pieces all modern, add up. So modern day Rain Man, man. <laughs> <laughs> no. All right. Well. Wow. Well done, guys. I appreciate you being on the show, uh, making it to the finish line with me. What'd you think of the whole challenge and? Maybe uh, you share what your favorite sauce was as well. Four was right. good. Eight was death. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know. I mean, it was, mm -hmm. it was uh, fun. Yeah, I think I would want to do 20 of number eight, I think was. Yeah, so no, you do. We, no, we don't want to. <laughs> no, number four. <laughs> what was uh, this one? Los Calientes. Barbacoa. I mean, yeah. they have it at Chipotle. 
Yeah, I think we're gonna do it. Yeah. I think what's gonna happen is someday you're gonna come back as an alum. I'm gonna tell you it's number four. And it's, and I'm gonna give really you like the first eight. five will be number four, then I'll make another batch and it'll be number eight. Yeah, mm -hmm. that will bleed out of my mouth. <laughs> That's right. So then you get mad and you'll smash that quartz <laughs> countertop <laughs> and it'll break. Yeah, it'll actually <laughs> break in half. Oh. Pretty much, yeah. Oh man. All right, well, congrats again. Um, one last thing, I'm gonna have you both look at the camera right here and just kind of give a little uh, a little comment on what you got going on in life. You know, you could tell us what you're up to and what you got for the, what, what the future holds. So, Which camera? Uh, right here, go yeah. ahead. Uh, yeah, so I am uh, going out to San Francisco for eight weeks for a private equity internship. And then I'm gonna go for probably another eight to 10 weeks uh, out in Europe. I'm gonna travel around a little bit, um, experience the world, and starting next summer, I will be at an investment bank in the Minneapolis area. That's amazing. I'm excited for you. So. Thank you. How about you? Warren? He's going to make a lot of money and he's going to need uh, like an old professor as a board <laughs> member someday so, to provide some, some advice in, yep. a, in, a, in return for a stipend and a small equity stake. Absolutely. And in yep. nine years, you're going to be a professor here. Uh, honestly, uh, that's the dream. That's the dream. Man. Does anyone have more fun than, you do at, than I do at their job? No. <laughs> the football coaches do, but they got the pressure they got to win. Yeah, well, right? you know, I think uh, the, the dream is to go out have you know a successful run in the business world come back and give back and either be a professor course, or a coach yeah. or in any way shape or form and that's kind of the, the johnny way well some awesome. of the alums that came back and helped teach the private equity course yeah. is kind of what helped connect you Incredible. to the jobs you've got it, i mean they yeah. made a huge huge impact on my life awesome mm -hmm. all right boz you can go ahead and uh say to the camera what you got going on i know the semester's kind of coming to an end but you know, I, and I watched the show a bunch, so I, I knew this part was coming. Mm. And I could talk about what I have going on. I, it's uh, it's just not as much my style. So can I mix it up just a little bit? Of course, go I've got for it. I've got a plan. So, <laughs> so Wise, um, I was hoping <clears throat> that you could go ahead and sign a picture for me so I could put it on my wall. Absolutely. So, Absolutely. and it's, uh, do you know, did you see this picture on social? I, I believe I did, yes. I did, yeah. Yeah. You want to show it to the camera somehow? Yeah, uh, you, you can just hold it up to any one of the cameras. Right there, Amazing. basically. Amazing. Yeah. Beast. You know? And it's probably a sentimental picture for you, but what is this? Do you know? This this is my last uh, game at St. John's. And I think you're walking off the field after the game ended. And, yeah, uh, yeah, and I'm soaking in one last time. You know, and that's basically when I looked at that picture. And I, if you could actually sign it, don't worry about being sentimental. Be kind of like yours, the superstar. So like Boz, all my best Waz or something like that. So it can be kind of generic that way if it looks. And Waz, uh, and Waz is tearing up because of the sauces. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. But no, I saw this one. Um, uh, Olivia Auger posted this one on oh, social, awesome. and she she takes some great stuff. Oh, and I, I saw it, it, and I just absolutely loved it. And it was, uh, uh, you know, Waz just walked off the football field for the last time, won a lot of games. This one, you know, didn't end up where he would have wanted, but. Uh, he, he's looking up at the stands one last Left time. Left a legacy. I always love Oz because he he always looked at the he looked at the stands a lot, and he was just soaking it in constantly. He loved yep. the energy of Collegeville, and uh, so he's just soaking it up one last time. And you know, it's the expression on his face. It's basically job well done. And uh, he he went out. He left it all on the field. Yeah. And that's when I remember this guy. Um, you know, that's just that's just what I'm gonna think of. So I'm gonna hang this one in my office. And that's awesome. I'll not only get to think about it, but what's beautiful is I'll have students coming in for years, <laughs> and uh, they'll ask me about this. They'll say, "Tell me about that number 91," and then I'll I'll get a chance to share some fun stories and talk about how that 5,000 pound uh, <laughs> kitchen island that you lifted that one into my house and everything. So, that's amazing. It's been an absolute pleasure, man. Thanks. So. Thank you guys for being on. I appreciate. Yeah, it. Yeah, this is awesome, Josh. Appreciate it. Pause. Whoa, yeah, there we go. Break glasses on the very end. <laughs> No, but thank you again, and uh, congrats to making it through the challenge, and congrats, Waz, to such an amazing career here. I really sure. appreciate all that you've done, and you're one of my teammates, so it's definitely been a fun time, and uh, Boz, you were one of my uh, professors uh, my freshman year, and we've stayed in touch ever since, so I appreciate you both, and uh, thanks for being on, so. Josh, it's great that you're doing this, man, so, but uh, one of my, also one of the best supporters of the accounting brand, <laughs> yeah. so he has this hidden distribution network of buddies at other colleges. I do, I've, I've probably bought, you know, 15 different hoodies and t-shirts over the years, so. You have, yeah. it's outstanding. But, um, well, thank you uh, uh, for being on again, and uh, we thank our viewers for tuning into this episode, and we'll see you in our next one. Take care.